Hey guys, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. We're back today with another top five. I'm Matt, I'm here with Jeff Wilson. We just toured your garden with the North American Maple Society yesterday. Yeah. Incredible garden, y'all. We had to get him in here for a top five Japanese maples. Jeff, you ready to talk a little bit about maples today? I am ready. All right, well, he had an incredible garden. One of my favorite aspects of your garden, I love how you had the conifers on the back row. And then when the maples dropped their leaves, it's like the curtain came down and then you saw this whole other garden. Yeah. I thought that was such a creative way to create, you yeah. know, some texture and layering there in the garden. Yeah. Loved how you did that. Yes, I, I have been working at that for a long time. Yeah. I started on one side of the yard and put them on sequentially all the way across. It took years to do it. Uh, but now what you saw was more or less uh, completed. I mean, everything that's in there and you get that effect, but it, it, it didn't start out that way. Oh, it, how long have you been gardening at your, your current location? Uh, the back lot was all grass yeah. for, because we had boys, and <laughs> right. uh, it, it was a soccer field, and uh, we did baseball, and, and they even did golf back there. And once the kids went to college, that's when he started. It's been about 17 years. Wow, it, it has an incredible out, you know, just the layout's awesome. And thanks for the North American Maple Society come through and check it out. I thought it was wow. some great fall color. We shot a English lace highlight in your garden, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, we're getting into your top five Japanese maples. All right. Uh, how long have you been into Japanese maples for? Has it always been something you like, or is it a newer it, passion? It, it is something that I, I, I've always enjoyed, though. Yeah. Uh, when I, I lived down in Los Angeles, it, it, it wasn't quite as big a deal down mm -hmm. there. They're not as specific about them. When I got up here, I saw what could be done. It, there are just amazing things that can happen up here with these maples. So I, I really got into them and I was watching them while the kids were growing up. Right. <laughs> and I it's really kind of fun to grow with the children, right? Well, no, they weren't. I was watching the, the maples, but I couldn't have any of my own. Right. The kids left. And no. so then when the kids left, that's when we got going with it. All right, let's get into it. We're going to go reverse order, right. five to one. Number five, what's your fifth favorite, Jeff? Well, we had an honorable mention too, right? We have an honorable, honorable mention. So I should first preface this by saying, I, I, the, the, the universe of maples is huge. And so I, I picked what works well in my yard, and I tried to have a reason why I would pick these things rather. And I'll try to provide pictures of, for my yard so you can kind yeah. of see why I picked that one right, right. as opposed to some other ones. So the honorable mention is, are two that I do have, but they they don't really, haven't really reached that top five kind of status gotcha. yet. One of them is uh, Acer Campestre Carnival. Oh yeah, yeah. And Ukigumo. Oh yeah. They're both white. They're awesome and amazing when they're uh, when they're on. I, I have them, but they I have they haven't reached that that level yet. They didn't hit the top five something, quite something yet. For something for the future. Awesome picks. My number five is Seriu. Okay. It was the first one that I bought. Uh, actually, it was bought for me for my birthday. Um, it is also one of the largest trees in the yard. I love it because it has a a billowy kind of quality to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like um, uh, looking in the tide pools, watching the seaweed moving oh, around. I love that, yeah. Or yeah. having clouds that are in fast motion. Oh. They also are underneath a bunch of huge trees that have dappled uh, sunlight. And so between the motion of the wind and oh, the, perfect. it's just fabulous. What a poetic so description for that. that. And then the, uh, the fall color is great as well um so that's my number five uh number awesome choice uh you know that one's a fast grower gets out there at over a foot of growth a year maybe sometimes over a foot and a half it does uh, the name means blue green dragons and i don't think i can add much more than that poetic description <laughs> you already gave to it that's perfect uh let's see number four is uh ichigyoji oh yeah okay um that one i selected because it it, it turns color for us about October mm -hmm. and it will stay colored until Thanksgiving. Wow. I've got 60 to 70 maples. They come and go. This one will have good color in it for most of the season mm -hmm. in one tree. The other thing is a lot of these maples 
you can see them coming on. It's like there's a light inside, but there's a bunch of dust on it. Mm -hmm. And then at some point, the light kind of bursts through and mm. electrifies. And this one has a shorter period, more different parts of the plant light up. And so it stays lit up for longer. So that's my number four because of the length of No, what, what's your typical color on that one in the fall? It, uh, you get red. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you a picture. Okay. Uh, uh, but it will also have some uh, orange and yellow mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, so it's a mix of them. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's them. what I was thinking too. So yeah. typically you get so many colors. Like you start one color and it's hard to tell because by the end of it, you've went yeah. through the full spectrum of colors, right? Yes. And then that one, in even this year, it would be, you know, some part of it will be bright red, but mm. then other parts are just green stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it's wow. an interesting one, and it has a long, uh, a long color period. So that's my oh, number four. Awesome choice. All right. We're heating up a little bit. Number three. Number three is uh, the uh, Golden Full Moon Maple. Yeah, okay. That one, uh, I, I love it. That's... I love it for the spring. Uh, once the leaves come out, when they first come out, they come out about the same time as uh, the rhodes come out and the azaleas come out. Mm -hmm. And compositionally, that those leaves on that full moon maple are just really difficult to beat. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. They, I mean, they're great all season. But when they first come out and then you add the color of the roadies and the azalea, uh, it's really pretty good. I like the pairing you mentioned there too. That makes it even better. I'll give you a picture of that. <laughs> you can see that one. Um, but so that's my number three. Um, the, the color in the fall is not, it's okay mm -hmm. to decent. Um, I have found with that one and with others that I've had that you need to be patient sometimes the uh for that one it would just go to brown some years yeah it, yeah it just goes to brown for a lot of years but we were you know it's a spring one and and more recently i get uh, some nice color on that oh different reds and oranges it's nice it's not it's not as, not as stunning as the others but it's nice oh great choice so that's, uh that's my number three number two is amber ghost okay getting real flashy with that one i like uh, that one a lot amber ghost I, I i picked that one because it it has the most reliable color in the garden for me it i have others like osakazuki that will match it mm -hmm. but not every year mm -hmm. so this one every year it's super reliable Great spring, just, great fall. Yeah, in the spring it comes out a lighter color and then deepens. Uh, and then when it turns on, it's t t head to toe, it's great. Yosakazuki will do that mm -hmm. some years. And it will not be, some years it'll match it and mm -hmm. some years it won't. Amber's my favorite of the Ghost series. Me and Tim like to argue about which ones are our favorites. I, I think Amber, like the spring captivates me. Yeah. And it's probably the best form of the Ghost Series and the best fall color. It has. It has I mean, it just wins. It has, yeah, of, the, of all the maples, including the Sakazuki, I would say I would pick Amber Ghost as the best in my, nice. in my yard. Nice, nice. All right, number one. Number one uh, I selected was Shinja Shoujo. Okay, great. Uh, I picked that one because I feel like it works I have it in the back corner, mm -hmm. and uh, it 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 really lights up in the spring. <laughs> it's great as a bonsai. Yeah, it's great as a single specimen. It's great as a composition. I have it with paired with uh, Cotonuido. Oh, perfect! And so yeah, the, yeah. the fire engine red with the light. Uh, green is great. I really like you saying that the composition's not how some people think about it, but it, it really creates even a backdrop for other things. Right, and and I also have it. I mean, so it works great as a pair. Mm -hmm. I, it works great as a larger composition. I've got six or eight maples, and they all have different colors, and that one just holds its own with all of them. And I also have it by uh, some conifers and some azaleas that light up and it can hold its own with that. So awesome. it's a kind of a compositional selection. Right. In, the, in the summer, it will continue to flush out. Mm -hmm. So you'll get green with red. In the fall, it's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. it's, not one, it's not really there for fall. 
it still looks decent and it will look better as it gets older. In many ways, it kind of just brings everything together a little bit, glues the garden together. So. Yeah, right. And, I, and I'll give you a few photos of how oh. I've used it so you can see it there. Awesome, awesome. I love you including your uses for these things. I think that's so practical and stuff people love to hear. Jeff, I appreciate the tour of your garden. Your wife thank and your you. garden is lovely. Uh, we are and uh, thank you for, uh, one, I was flattered you watch the show frequently. So I, I do. Always... I watch it on, uh, on the exercise bike regularly. Ah, such an honor, man. We appreciate it. Thanks for hopping on here today to talk about your top five Japanese maples. We'll sprinkle in some pictures and videos of his garden. It was incredible. And uh, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to the Mr. Maple Show. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're always putting out new content for you guys. And if there's some cool ones he talked about today that we don't have in stock, you can always sign up to go get notified via email when they're back. Take care, God bless, and have a great day.